Hey guys, it's me, here, back at you guys with another comic book unboxing and review, and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be doing an ultimate comic book haul, but all these books are by the same artist. And as you checked from my little teaser of last week, I bought uh, all the Alex Ross DC books. Now, these books, of course, are DC's Kingdom Come, the hardcover edition, Justice by Alex Ross and Jim Kruber, 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 Kruger, like Freddy Krueger, Absolute Justice League, The World's Greatest Superheroes by Paul Dini. Here's one problem. One of the boxes that it arrived at, I think this is Absolute Justice League, World's Greatest Superheroes. You right. It arrived in paper and is in a shoe box. So I'm gonna open this one first. So without further ado, let's just get into this one. I'm hoping this is in perfect condition because I do not want this to be damaged because they wrapped it in a shoe box. That's cool. Yeah, so it is in perfect condition. It's still shrink wrapped, like they said. Dusty. What's that smell? I don't know what that smell is, but it's interesting. Um, on this cover, you got uh, Shazam, Hawkman, Zatanna, Black Canary, Wonder Man, Green Arrow, and I don't know if you can see him, but that's the Adam right there. And if you flip over to the side, on the binding bit, you got. Green Lantern, Hal Jordan. What the fuck? And you have Flash, Superman, Wonder Woman, Batman, Martian Manhunter, and Aquaman. If you don't know Alex Ross's art, it's really cool. And I love how he bases almost all his, at least I've noticed this, his Superman very much reminds me of Christopher Reeves. Wait, also, this is Absolute uh, DC. So it's kind of like when I did my Absolute DC Sandman. That series is still being planned. I just need to find the rest of the books. They have like this little card that goes with it. Without further ado, let's unwrap this bad boy. All right, there we go. And uh, yeah, we got this card uh, that does talk about it. It's, these are the greatest heroes the world has ever known, using their extraordinary abilities to bring out the best in mankind, time and time again. And now these iconic figures are brought to life by two of the biggest talents in comics. Between 1998 and 2003, the Eisner award-winning team of artists Alex Ross and writer Paul Dany joined forces to create six oversized tabloid editions of stories featuring the world's greatest superheroes, Superman, Peace on Earth, Batman, War on Crime, Shazam, Power of Hope, Wonder Woman, Spirit of, uh, Spirit of Truth, JLA, Secret Origins, the JLA, Liberty and Justice, and Absolute Justice League, the world's greatest superheroes by Alex Ross and Paul Dini collects. These groundbreaking and beautifully illustrated tales, along with the wealth of behind the scenes materials, including promotional art, preliminary art, and thumbnails, are done for DC Direct products and model to finish painting comparisons, reflections by the book creators, and much more. These beautiful Absolute Edition also contains an eight page fold out featuring every JLA member by Ross. That is so cool. That's the first time I actually ever said that fluently. Oh. You see that? That is cool. Art is still amazing. Everything's still in perfect condition. Also, I already know the art style of Alex Ross, so every so the so all the art stuff I gotta give like a ten out of ten. This is pretty epic. Uh, everything looks amazing. Yeah, that is pretty epic. I really enjoy that. But uh, yeah, let's move on to the next book, which is uh, I think uh, Justice. You right. This feels like reopening my Strange by Donny Cates hardcover book, except somehow worse. The only reason I say it's worse is because somehow they got a bunch, but they got a whole lot better packaging on this. I'll be right back. I am back. I just had to eat something. Now let's get back to it. Fresh mindset, and I can rule the world. There we are. Oh, yeah. yeah. Box away. We have this amazing cover, which is pretty cool. You have, like, on one half, you have all the heroes. You have, like, Superman, Wonder Woman, Batman, Flash, uh, Green Lantern, Aquaman. No, that's not Aquaman. Aquaman, Martian Manhunter, Green Arrow, Scott Free, and Hawkman. On the other side, you have all their, like, 
rogues and art and villains. They are the world's greatest superheroes, but the members of the Fable Justice League are about to learn that they aren't the only ones who can band together and work toward a common goal. The world's deadliest criminal masterminds have learned some valuable lessons from their past defeats, and their latest plan find them, finds them acting in concert to bring about total victory for the forces of good. Behind its seemingly sincere facade, however, the campaign to save the world is actually a carefully armed scheme to enslave it. It's systematically discrediting and neutralizing the members of the Justice League one by one, as the villains begin to gain the world's trust, our heroes must redouble their efforts to expose the truth to fight for justice. That's really cool. Yeah, it collects all 12 issues of this series and oh yeah it says it's got about 100 pages of like character sheets and details kind of like in kingdom come like they actually had like about a hundred or so pages of just like character sheets and like behind the scenes voila it really does remind me of kingdom come like all the like detailed like pages and such and like all the different panels the way they're arranged it's still pretty epic i love it so much so i'm guessing like uh the people like doing all of this is the Legion of Doom, probably. Future me, please tell me if that's right. You right! Yeah, because all these villains come together to, like, fight the Justice League or, like, seem good. So maybe it is the Legion of Doom, and they're all led by Lex Luthor. Well, and now onto the final book, which is DC's Kingdom Come. The one book that started it all. Not, not started it all, but, like, started me doing this specific thing. Throw it all aside and... Box inside another box. Okay, now that is pretty. That is beautiful. I already read the book. I gotta give it like a 20 out of 10. But like, my god, that th this cover still is amazing to me. After all this time. It collects the four issue miniseries that Alex Ross and Mark Wade did together for DC. And it is an amazing story. I totally recommend you read it. It's literally one of the best, one of the best DC stories of all time. If you Google what one, some of the best DC stories of all time are, there is Batman Dark Knight Returns, Flashpoint, um, Kingdom Come. There's quite a few, but there, are, but this is up there as like one of the best DC stories of all time. I totally recommend you read it because it is totally worth reading and totally worth your time. Again, you have the card I'm in love with the entire story of Kingdom Come. If you remember I did like a whole two-part bit. That is so cool. I love that. I already did my review of the book. And I gotta say, it is like 10 out of 10, like in my opinion. Like it is beautiful. It's such an amazing story. I totally recommend it. But yeah, all in all, all these books total, I gotta give them 500 out of 10. And that is a very, very rare Tomaplex medal that I rarely ever give out. I gotta say. Alex Ross and DC, perfect. And especially with some great stories like these that actually have like almost five star ratings and that actually makes me very happy seeing all of that. But I hope that after I finish these, I will be even more excited to read them again. But yeah, uh, thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tap the notification bell so you never miss a video from me. Please subscribe to my friends. Their channels are in the description down below. And please do subscribe to me. It would really help out the channel a major ton. I am so close to about 120 subscribers. And until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!